Welcome back to Port Aransas with the Boater Division in the books. We're getting ready to launch a new season of the IFA Kayak Series presented by Hobie. Some of the best in the state are here, ready to kick off a new year on the road to the championship. Of course I'm excited. Season's just kicking off. The weather's almost going to be awesome, except for the 30 plus mile an hour winds. But looking forward to it. The wind's been blowing 30. Uh, pretty much sustained 25, gust 30, 35. Uh, I gotta say, I'm glad I'm in a Hobie tomorrow. Uh, it, it, it's gonna help. I'm fishing out of a Hobie Pro Angler, 14 foot, uh, 2017 model. And yeah, it's gonna be a huge advantage tomorrow, you know, with the Mirage Drive and then adding reverse on the 2017 model. And also just the, the size, the stability. You know, it, it's uh, extremely stable. It's, it's a tank. It doesn't matter where you're fishing or what you're fishing for. Hobie kayaks are built to get you in and back out like no other kayak on the market. With their patented Mirage Drive, you can get there in stealth mode and never have to put your fishing pole down. And now Hobie has upped their game once again with the Mirage Drive 180, a forward and reverse propulsion system that provides full power in both directions with unprecedented maneuverability. Imagine the possibilities. For more information on the complete line of Hobie fishing gear, look them up at HobieFishing.com. Back on the water in Port Aransas, even under windy conditions, the IFA kayak anglers are finding fish. This is Team Hobie's Josh McNaughton, a seasoned veteran on the tour, and the 2010 IFA Kayak Texas Angler of the Year. Like most, he's having trouble with the wind, but a few minor adjustments can make all the difference. I mean, the, the big thing with the wind is, you know, you need a heavier jig head. So you can actually stay in contact, but at the same time, you gotta stay out of the grass. And most of the water is about two and a half foot deep, three foot deep. It just, just makes it challenging. Fishing alongside Josh is fellow Houstonian and Team Hobie angler, Jason Carter. It's uh, not really sunny enough for me to, what I normally do is drift the flat and hit the potholes in the flat, but uh, I can't see them until I'm on top of them. So it's just a lot of blind casting. Uh, but I can see these guts pretty well, so I'm working those for right now. Hopefully some of these clouds will break and I can get back on the big flat and do some drifts. We got some different guts off the back side of flats that we're hoping we can go bust some trout early and then spend time chasing reds around islands, uh, jumping around spool banks, things like that, trying to find our redfish. With an entry fee of just $50, the IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie is a great way to get into tournament fishing. There are five divisions spread out across the lower Atlantic and Gulf Coast, leading up to an end of year championship. For information, check out ifatours.com. First place in our Port Aransas event, first place had a 29.375 on the red, a 24 and a half inch trout. That's what did it for them. First place gets $1,500, also courtesy of Micro Anchor. They get another Micro Anchor and a spike valued at $700. Also, they were first place. They got the biggest trout. They were first place in the AA for another $520. All together, almost $3,000 for Mr. Aaron Steelwagon. Yeah. Good job, bro. Uh, I'm gonna give you the checks first. Congratulations to Aaron Stillwagon, your 2017 IFA Kayak Tour Port Aransas champion. 11.15, I had 117 inch trout and made a long move. Um, I'd say the last hour, hour and a half, I caught a good redfish and good trout and obviously salvaged a day. Except 11.15, I, I thought, to be honest, I thought the day was over with. Uh, but like I said, got lucky and found two good fish uh, right before I had to go in. Big thanks to our friends in Port Aransas for tourist information, including dining, lodging, and some of the best fishing on the Texas coast. Look them up at portaransas.org.